Hi, my name is Jamie Gow and I'm the Technical Marketing Engineer for the Cisco Unified Attendant Consoles. In this short video, I'm just going to show you a quick tip for if you have installed and configured either the Department, Business or Enterprise Edition solution. Now with the Premium Edition, you have high availability, so you have a publisher and subscriber server. But if you're using any of the other editions, you only have a single server solution in place. Now I'm just going to log into my call manager and at this point I'm making the assumption that you've already installed and configured your attendant console server. If you haven't then it's worth referring to my other video on how to do so before continuing with this video. And when you configure your attendant console server you're going to configure one or more queues in the system and each queue is going to have a CTI about point. Now when the attendant console server itself is up and running that CTI route point is registered on the uh, call manager. Now if for whatever reason there is a failure on the attendant console server and the attendant console server itself stops, that CTI route point becomes unregistered and what you want to do is just add a bit of configuration to that route point to allow calls to still route to somewhere else. So I'm just going to navigate to device and CTI route point and all I'm going to do is search for my CTI route point which is associated to my queue and you might have multiple of these, so you might need to do this more than once. I'm just going to click on this and I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to configure the line and if I scroll to the bottom of the page all I'm going to do is configure some call forwards so if the CTI route point itself becomes unregistered it forwards the calls somewhere else. Now the number that you put in here can be anything that you like that the call manager can dial so it could be an IP phone, maybe the number of the operator or perhaps you create a hung group with multiple phones in it and you can send calls to that. So what I'm going to do is configure the forward on CTI failure and I'm going to configure forward unregistered internal and then that's automatically going to populate the same number in the external field. Then I'm going to select the calling search base and just select the one that's relevant to you on your call manager and I'm just going to click on save and that's it so as simple as that now if for whatever reason the attendant console server fails the calls will come into the queue or attempt to come into the queue and the associated CTI route point will be unregistered on the call manager and it will just then hit that call forward and send all of my calls to 1004